Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm SB from Tech Century and welcome to my new setup or home office tour for the summer of 2014. So at the beginning of this year, I promised you some big office upgrades and you can see part of this already behind me. So let's get started after the intro. So before we actually start to take a look at my setup for summer 2014, I quickly want to address something and always when I take a look at the comments below other setup videos, it feels like people assume you just like take 10 grand, walk into a store, buy all the necessary parts and then put a setup together in like one day. And that's just not the way it works. So I try to improve my setup over the last like four or five years and I've gone through a variety of different desks, a variety of different monitors, computers, tablets, cameras and all that stuff. So I really want to take you back to all the previous setups and just to give you a glimpse on how things changed over the years and how I've kind of got to this point where I'm now. But now enough about the old setups. Now let's take a look at this one. So here, of course, we are starting with the setup tour on the opposite side of my desk. And we see that we have a couch right here. Now this is actually a couch that my girlfriend brought into our own apartment here. So uh, that's also why it kind of like doesn't match the design of my other items on the desk or also the desk itself. But nonetheless, it's a very comfortable couch and it's just very nice to sit on there and just to watch some DVDs or Blu-rays. And so that's definitely a great addition to the setup itself. Also, of course, we have the America flag up there. Now to get the elephant out of the room, no, I'm not American, I am German, but I spent a year in the US as an exchange student. So now let's actually take a look at my tripods and other parts of my recording gear right here. So on the right of the couch itself, we actually have here uh, basically some stands that were included with the soft boxes that I used for a while, but I'm not going to use them anymore, but I'm still going to use these stands for my new LED lights. Then also we have a fairly cheap Hammer tripod right here. Um, this was one of my earliest tripod and I still use this actually currently for actually mounting the Zoom H1 audio recorder on there. And then we have my main tripod right here, which is the Dur Pro Black 3XL. And this is a tripod with fluid head that works fairly well. Not the best tripod in the world, but it gets the job done for me. And I definitely think it's time for an upgrade, maybe to Manfrotto one. In the near future but for now it works fine and the fluid head is of course a big advantage then next up we have a picture of myself graduating in the united states so that's that and then next to it we actually have my new led lights so these are the young Nuo yn302 so these are led lights with 300 leds actually 150 LEDs that have 5,500 Kelvin and then also 150 LEDs that have 3,200 Kelvin. So you can even adjust like the color temperature and they're just insanely bright even though they are so small. They retail for around like 60 years each or well actually the lights are 50 years but you still need the external battery here. So this is basically like a camcorder battery that you can recharge and then for example it also shows you the battery status so whether it's charged or not, so that's definitely nice. And uh, these lights are actually on the Koenig KN Tripod 19. So these are just very cheap tripods that I picked up for like nine, uh, 10 bucks each, I believe. And they are just used as the stands here for the lights. But overall, these just work fantastic. And I think I just purchased them like one or two weeks ago. So, so far they are amazing and I can just highly recommend these lights. Also very good build quality for this cheap price. Now then next up we have some more camera gear. So this is the camera SD1 slider. So I honestly haven't really used this camera slider too much in my videos yet, but I'm definitely planning on using it a lot more. And actually on top of the slider itself is the Kalman tripod head. I think it's the SD1. No, actually that's the name of the camera slider. So I'm not quite sure about the name of the Kalman tripod head, but it's just a very cheap one that gets the job done without any issues and also works like with my 600D for example. 
And so I can definitely recommend the slider, especially also because you have these wheels here so that you can actually like roll around with the whole slider, which is nice. Of course, you can also mount this to a tripod as well. So um, actually the desk that you see right here, this big two meter desk is kind of like my review desk. So what a lot of people don't know, I'm not just reviewing items for my own YouTube channel right here. I'm also actually working as a blogger and also I'm reviewing devices for other YouTube channels as well as also for other websites. So these are actually review products that you see right here. So this is actually the Note 12.2, so the Note Pro 12.2, which is an absolutely fantastic tablet that I really enjoy. So I've tested this now for like over a week and it's just a fantastic tablet. I really enjoy it and definitely a home run in my opinion, it's just because of the big screen, to be honest. With apps like the 2, at least here in Germany, you can watch TV. Of course, also for YouTube, this is amazing. And it's just kind of like a portable TV that you can take everywhere also with pretty good battery life. So I'm very happy here with the Note Pro 12.2. So actually next to the Note Pro 12.2, we have the Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. So another really nice tablet. I haven't really used it too much here in white. And we also have this like fake leather side here on the back, but also a very nice tablet also with a very high resolution display. And overall, I really think that Samsung stepped up the game with these new tablets for 2014. Now, of course, they aren't cheap, so that's definitely a disadvantage. So especially the Note Pro 12.2 is very expensive and I don't really think it's worth the price. But if it drops a little bit, then no doubt it's definitely worth it, especially also because of the multitasking. But of course, that's a feature that actually both tablets have built in. Now to the right of the Samsung Tab Pro 10.1, we have the Nexus 7. Now this is the 2013 version of the Nexus 7. And I was actually very fortunate to pick this up for around, what was it, like 120 euros. This is the 16 gigabyte version. So a fantastic price. And the tablet is actually really nice. Now I have to say, I don't really use it too much as like a tablet itself. So I basically just use it as like a DSLR monitor for my 600D with an app called DSLR controller. So this basically allows you to use the tablet as a viewfinder and also to use it as a remote for your DSLR. And especially if you're recording yourself, then this is a perfect solution and also a quite inexpensive one with a full HD display. Now, next to the Nexus 7, we also have a fairly new addition here to my setup. So this is the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. Now this is the first generation, so not the second generation that was just released. And this is also in a Sony stand, which is an original accessory from Sony. And I just think it looks really nice together. This is actually the 16 gigabyte version also with 4G LTE. So I'm just really looking forward, for example, to using this for YouTube, for example, when I'm in the kitchen, because as I mentioned before, here the Samsung tablets are all review units, so I'll have to return them to the manufacturer. But uh, this is actually mine to keep, so I'm really looking forward to using this more. And again, I really think the design looks very nice and it's like six millimeters thin. So also just overall a very nice tablet. So next up, we just have like this little storage item from Ikea where I have a couple of remotes, for example, actually also for the LED lights that I showed you earlier. So they come with a remote, which is really nice. And also, of course, the remote for my camcorder, as well as the Festina watch, and also the remote for the LED lights around my setup. Now here, what's else on the uh, review table right here? This is the 16 gigabyte iPad mini with retina display that you see right here. So also a very nice tablet. I haven't really used it too much. Actually, I just bought it like a couple of days ago because I was pissed off about something and then I was like, ah, I gotta buy an iPad mini. So I did and so far it's just fantastic and it's just incredibly thin, incredibly well built and of course with the Retina display and also 4G LTE built in. This is just a fantastic tablet that I can't wait to use more and this will probably also be another tablet for me that I'll watch a lot of YouTube videos with and just see whether there are some good productivity apps out there for the iPad. So if you know any productivity apps for the iPad, just let me know in the comments below. I'm really eager to hear if you have some good recommendations. So now a little bit more about my camera gear. So here we actually find the Zoom H1 audio recorder. Now I have to say the Zoom H1 is fantastic. Now the build quality isn't the greatest. It's very plasticky and it makes weird noises if you just like put a little bit of pressure on it. 
but the audio quality is just superb. And I actually started using this again for my audio on the videos, at least for the other videos, not of, on this one, of course, because I'm using actually the microphone that I have clipped to my shirt right now. But for the introduction to this video, I actually used the Zoom H1 and I just think it sounds fantastic. And for a price of like 99 bucks, this is really a very nice pocket recorder to just record some high quality audio. Then next to this, we find my 600D from Canon, as you see right there. Currently actually the 18 to 55 millimeter standard lens on there. And this camera is what I use to capture most of my videos these days. I haven't really used it for a long time, even though I own the camera for like three or four years. But now I'm using it again. I'm blown away basically by the quality because it's quite impressive, especially also in comparison to my camcorder right here. I also have a couple of other lenses that I'll show you later but this is just the 600D and I'm just really impressed by the quality. But of course my dream is to upgrade, for example, to a 70D, also because of the autofocus or maybe also the GH4 from Panasonic, of course, with 4K recording. So here uh, below the desk or well, the general desk itself is actually from Ikea. So not only for the desk, but for all the items that you'll see here in the desk tour, I'll leave links in the description down below and also of course the full name so that you can find them for yourself. So if you have a question or if you're searching for an item here from the desk tour, then just make sure that you check the description of this video first, because this will show you what items these are and where you can purchase these. And then actually here the well shelf in the middle is something that I built myself. So. Um, I wanted to have something that actually just like covers the space in between. I'm not really sitting at this desk because it's just a review table. And so I thought, okay, I'll buy or I'll just build a shelf myself. And it was like 70 bucks, so it fits perfectly in there. Now you're probably wondering why I have like a ton of boxes there from products. And that's basically just a placeholder. So I'm not planning on keeping them there. It's just that I actually built this uh, just shelf for actually a couple of things like, for example, a new AV receiver that will fit perfectly like in the upper left corner right there. Also maybe like a PlayStation 4 in the future. So this is basically something that I built for the future. And so I'm not using most of this and it just looks better with something in there than if it's like completely empty. So that's just why I have the boxes there. Also, we can see that, for example, I also have my old Pioneer receiver right there, as well as also an LG Blu-ray player. And the AV receiver will be hooked up to my TV speakers that you'll see later, or it will be replaced fairly soon with a better one because this is like 10 years old. Then also we see the packaging of the LED lights and also, for example, the Myonix Evoa um, 7000 gaming mouse that I still have to test, so it's in the box. And I'm really looking forward to testing this out in the future. So now down here, we actually have my camera backpack. So I think this also fits fairly nice into this uh, compartment down there. And in this camera backpack, there isn't a ton of stuff, but there are a couple of different lenses as well. But I honestly have to say I'm not using them as much as I probably should. So um, for example, we see that we have an external flash right here uh, for the 600D from Canon. Also, then we have a 50 millimeter um, lens right here with f 1.8, I believe. So pretty good lens here. And I actually also have another 28 millimeter, but I have no idea where it's currently. So that's kind of a shame. But this is the camera backpack. Now the backpack itself is actually uh, from Amazon Basics, as you see. So a very nice backpack. I think it's like 10 bucks or 20. So also a very good price. And if you don't have like too much camera gear, then this is a great solution. So my other backpack is here from STM. And this is the backpack that I use for all my stuff. So for my MacBook, for example, also for tablets. And this is just a fantastic backpack. I'm not quite sure of the name, but I actually have a full review of this backpack on the channel. So I'll leave a link again in the description of this video. And it's just a fantastic backpack. So if you're looking for like a high quality backpack that can just take, for example, your laptop, a tablet, a camera and stuff, then this is the perfect choice. And I can just highly recommend it. I have it for a couple of years now and it works absolutely fine. So, but now let's actually get to my main setup. So here we see that we have three screens and these are all AOC i2369VM monitors, 23 inch full HD, IPS also with weather mounts. So you can mount these, for example, to these monitor arms or also, for example, to the wall. So that's definitely a very nice feature in my opinion. 
And so I have these monitors for a couple of months now and I'm very pleased with them. Excellent viewing angles as you can see right there. And of course the ability to also mount them here on uh, such monitor arms is very nice. Now the monitor arms themselves are called Capstone Plus or Capstone 360, I believe. And you can purchase them from Amazon, at least here in Germany. Now, when it comes to peripherals, I actually use the Logitech K811 keyboard. This is a wireless illuminated keyboard for Mac, but there's also the K810, which is actually specifically for Windows and basically has the same design and also backlit keys. In terms of mouse, I use the Logitech MX Performance, and this is a very nice mouse. I just wish that actually the battery life was a little bit better. Now the mouse itself is on the Hammer Alupad, I believe. So this is just a mouse pad made of aluminum and it's just fantastic because it isn't really that thick and it just has excellent tracking and I also just feel like it looks very nice in combination with all the other items here on my desk. Now other items here on the desk are actually the Creative T3 speakers and these are fantastic speakers. I can't praise them enough. They are fantastic. It's a 2.1 speaker system. So you'll also find the subwoofer below the desk, but overall it just really has a really nice bass and the sound quality is just fantastic. So I'm absolutely blown away by these speakers and I own them now for like over a year and they're just absolutely amazing and I can't recommend them enough. They also actually have this little control knob that you see right there below the monitor so that you can control the music and also, for example, plug in a headphone or also an aux device like an iPod. Now above the main desk, we have a canvas of London of the Tower Bridge. Now a lot of people ask me where I purchased this from and I actually purchased this from a German furniture store called Trends. So I'll leave also a link in the description below. I'm not quite sure if they still have the same canvas or if they ship internationally. I'm not sure, but I don't think they actually do, but I'll still leave a link if I can find it on the website. And I just think it's a very nice canvas that looks great here above the desk. Now, then a lot of people always ask me about the desk. Now, this isn't from Ikea. This is actually a desk also from the same store as the canvas from Trends. Now, this is called Kelton. Now, if you're looking this up on the website, you will notice that this actually looks different on their website than it does here on my setup because basically you just buy the tabletop as well as the right and the left foot and that's basically it. Now the element that you see behind the monitors is actually a second tabletop. So this is exactly the same as you see right here, just that I put it up vertically against the wall with some indirect lighting. So you basically have to buy the desk twice and then you can have such a setup. I think each of these Kelton desks actually costs 150 euros, but they are a great investment because they are very high quality and I can just highly recommend it. Now in terms of chair, um, I actually bought this from a similar store. It's not from Trends, but from Osterman. I know a weird name, but anyways, and I'm not quite sure. I think it's called Würzburg, so <laughs> quite a German name, but it's a fairly comfortable. I just have the big issue that it doesn't really have lumbar support down there. So I kind of get like back aches. So I probably have to look for a new one. So I wouldn't like really recommend the chair, even though it's quite comfortable, uh, besides the fact that you get like back pain if you're sitting in there for like eight hours, but for a couple of hours, that's absolutely fine. So now we actually get to the big upgrade that was done just a couple of weeks ago and that really like separates the current setup uh, from the setup before. And this is that we now actually have another IKEA element right here with a new Sony TV. So here, this IKEA element is actually called the Expedit. Now, unfortunately, this was discontinued. Now, IKEA actually um, has a new product that looks basically the same, but unfortunately, it's not available in glossy white anymore. So I think they will introduce some new colors again. So hopefully, glossy white will be in there. But as of right now, they don't offer the glossy white version. So in this um, just like shelf or whatever you want to call it, there's actually my main machine. So this is the late 2013 Quad-Core Mac Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Thanks also for the RAM upgrade to Mr. Tybox123, Adam here on YouTube. And the Mac Pro is just an absolutely fantastic machine. It drives the three displays here on my setup as well as also then the other TV right here. So for example, if I watch things like Netflix, then I can just watch it also here on the big screen. And you can actually connect up to six displays. So that's fantastic. Next to the Mac Pro, we then actually have the Xbox One right here, 
also with Kinect. So I really enjoy the Xbox One. I know it got a lot of hate, but for me, it's a very good console, especially also because of Titanfall. I just love this game and also FIFA is amazing on the next gen consoles. And I just basically can't wait for Watch Dogs to be released in a couple of days. So next to the Xbox One, we actually have my Retina MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, this is now like one year old, I believe, but it's a fantastic machine. I use it a lot of times during the week, just when I'm at work. And this is a fantastic machine. I also use this actually as my daily driver for a while before I actually received my Mac Pro. So even for video editing, this works flawlessly. Of course, it's not as fast as the Mac Pro, but still a very nice replacement for a while. And also we actually have the MacBook Pro on a cooler master stand. Not quite sure about the name, but again, I'll leave this below in the description of this video. And then last but certainly not least next to it, we have the Myonix Nash 20 gaming headset that I just reviewed on the channel, as well as also the Xbox One controller. Now, one of the last items here is actually, well, first off, these speakers are Harman Kardon speakers. I'm not quite sure of the name. I think it's HKTS9. And so I'll basically hook them up to the AV receiver that you saw earlier to the Pioneer, but I'm actually currently waiting on some white cables so that it's not so obvious with a black cable and so that they're kind of hidden. Because as you probably see from my setup, I'm not really the biggest fan of just having like cables around. So this is why I'm waiting for the cable to actually hook them up. And the TV itself is actually the KDL50 W656 TV from Sony. And I just really enjoy this TV. It's fantastic, looks great with the aluminum finish and also amazing for gaming. It has one of the lowest input lags that you can find on any TV currently. And it's just fantastic overall and I really enjoy it. And this is also basically here everything about my setup. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really had a lot of fun. Again, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I also, of course, have most of these items just in the description. So before you ask where you can buy this, just make sure to check the description because it's pretty sure that I'll leave a link down there for every item that you just saw. So thanks again for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tour. And I really hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the annotation next to this video or also click next or previous to check out another video of ours. Thanks for watching. See you next time.